people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video we got our first look at Hex's upcoming plushies of the Funtime animatronics, new gameplay reveals for Pop Goes Evergreen and t -Jock, the Ignited Collection, a whole bunch of port updates for Help Wanted 2 and Ruin, that and so much more we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, subscribing to this channel is the best and easiest, fastest way to stay up to date with everything regarding FNAF, and in the comments of the past FNAF news videos, I've noticed a lot of you guys are like, Johnny Blocks, where's all the Funko news? I feel like I haven't heard about Funko in ages. Well, it seems like your prayers were answered because let's kick this video off by talking about some brand new Funko news. Thanks to Funko Insider Scarlet Joker, they revealed a few brand new products that Funko's gonna be releasing to celebrate the 10th anniversary of FNAF this fall. Those products including a Funko Pop of Withered Golden Freddy, a statue featuring Freddy and Bonnie, a Golden Freddy statue, as well as a brand new wave of Funko Mystery Minis. So while this might not be the most elaborate release we've gotten from Funko, especially considering it's the decade anniversary of FNAF and this is all they're releasing. Honestly, a brand new Funko Pop, even one of a withered animatronic, like I'll take that, two brand new statues, and another wave of mystery minis. So like I said, it might not be the biggest wave we've gotten from Funko, but honestly, all these brand new reveals, they sound incredible. Moving on now to Hex, thanks to Daco's charity stream over the weekend, which by the way, raised over $63,000 for the Palestine children really fun like that is an insane number huge huge congratulations to Daco and the FNAF community you should all be proud of yourselves but of course during that charity stream we got a whole bunch of reveals especially for Hex starting off Daco showed off this security breach themed t-shirt featuring the Glamrock band Glamrock Chica Freddy Monty and Roxanne the back of the shirt was not shown but according to Daco it'll depict band tour dates and locations for the Glamrock crew speaking of t-shirts we also got revealed to us the sister location t-shirt featuring of course the Funtime animatronics Ballora, Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, and Circus Babies all promoting Circus Babies Pizza World. On the back of the shirt you got the list of the characters as well as Afton Robotics LLC. According to Daco these two shirts are our first look at Hex's upcoming in-universe merchandise which I love the sound of that. So basically Hex is looking to make especially t-shirts that you would find inside of the FNAF universe you know being sold at Circus Babies Pizza World. And again I'm a sucker for in-universe stuff so all that sounds awesome. You may remember in a past FNAF news video, Daco said they're working on a Shadow Freddy hoodie. Well, that was also revealed on the charity stream. This is what the front looks like. A whole bunch of illustrations of Shadow Freddy on the front, on the sleeves. You've even got his ears on top of the hoodie. And on the back, you've got some very menacing, creepy art. The Shadow Freddy paper plate doll, the follow me quote, as well as his sprite from those FNAF 3 mini games. In fact, Daco even showed off a 3D model prototype of their upcoming Shadow Freddy plushie. It's worth noting all the green parts you see on their eyes, their teeth, their paws, on the final plushie, those are going to be white. They're only green to signify what part of the plushies are going to glow in the dark. You heard that right, this upcoming Shadow Freddy plushie, including this upcoming Shadow Bonnie plushie. They're going to have parts of their plushies that glow in the dark, which once again, Hex, you're knocking it out of the park. That sounds awesome. And lastly, for Hex News, we've got our first look at their upcoming Funtime animatronic plushies. With this brand new artwork revealing the wave will include plushies of Ballora, Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, and of course, Circus Baby. With Doc saying that the wave is expected to be released around summertime and he also showed off once again 3d model prototypes of circus baby so you can get a better feel for what the final plushies will look like and personally i think this looks awesome now of course this is only a 3d model prototype we have seen respectfully hex botch the process from going from art to physical plushie in the past but if they're able to replicate what this model looks like into a plushie form this might be one of Hex's best waves yet. We also got revealed to us the 3D model for Funtime Foxy, who, once again, I think looks awesome. You can definitely see the resemblance from their Foxy plushie, especially in that face, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. I think Hex nailed the Foxy plushie, so if they just reuse some of those parts, again, this might be an awesome looking plushie. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on all the brand new Hex reveals, including the t-shirts, the shadow animatronics, the Funtime animatronics. Next up, let's quickly touch upon U2s because they just released a whole bunch of FNAF products. First up, their FNAF 2 figures are now available for only two weeks. The wave includes Withered Chica, The Puppet, Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Mangle, and Withered Foxy. They also just released a brand new set of Security Breach pins, a Glamrock Chica Connected pin, a Glamrock Chica Dangle pin, a Roxy Dangle pin, a Glamrock Freddy Turner pin, a Gregory and Cassie Connected pin, a Magnetic Monty pin, as well as a Present pin. Moving on now to the Fazbear Fanverse, starting off with Pop Goes Evergreen. We got a whole bunch 
bunch of pop goes reveals on the charity stream as well starting off with this intro animation for the game you can see it starts off with the glowing green eyes of pop goes and then turning into the logo for five nights at freddy's pop goes evergreen i'd assume this is an animation that's going to play when you boot up the game we're also going to look at a brand new phone case this time a collaboration between pop goes and the joy of creation with the ignited cupcake from t Chalk ignited collection being attached to the phone it's also a little creepy because he appears to be alive still you can see his eye twitching about and also when you toggle the cameras you can see the candlestick atop the cupcake actually moves a very detailed a very creepy looking phone case an awesome collaboration between these two games for the third pop goes goal we got revealed to us the upcoming third and final pop goes u2's pin set this time the theme is the beach episode so you got the pop goes crew dressed up like they're at the beach and of course with the beach theme these pins are estimated to be released during the summer and if you look closely you can even see the pins have a little bit of glitter added to them in their clothing to make them pop just a bit more and personally i think these pins look awesome and lastly for pop goes evergreen we got a teaser video showing off our first look at false mangle this was an absolutely insane insane video mad props to kane and the team this is easily one of their hypest reveals they've done for the game while i'm a little disappointed we got another look at a false character because personally i feel like these characters should be a bit of a surprise i'm super relieved it was only a tiny glimpse at false mangle's head i think false mangle looks absolutely terrifying i cannot cannot wait to see what they look like in the final game i'd love to know what are your thoughts on our first look at false mangle as well as the other pop goes evergreen donation goals and a little bit of bonus pop goes news you may have noticed during the stream that when doc were revealed a brand new pop goes incentive false balloon boy in the background was actually getting closer and closer to the camera eventually jump scaring Docco, which led to another hilarious clip and then holding up his sign and instead of saying balloons it says donate but now moving on from pop goes evergreen to t jock the ignited collection we got revealed to us a teaser video of the ignited cupcakes as well as ignited chica popping up from the ceiling the fanverse teams really cooked with these animations and teaser videos for Docco's charity stream because again i dude like this is just absolutely creepy very very terrifying the sounds as well very gross very disgusting but of course in a good way and then we also got two brand new gameplay clips for t jock as you can see we're in the office level the first level in t jock the story mode in this first clip you can see us shining a flashlight at the ignited cupcakes to scare them away if you remember in the original t jock story mode if too many ignited cupcakes appear in your office ignited chica would start to crawl through the wall so this is absolutely something we need to do to keep chica at bay and then in the second new gameplay clip we get a better look at ignited foxy's gameplay during the office section in the original t jock story mode ignited foxy would appear on your cameras you'd have to locate him on the cameras look at him for a long duration while you're in the cameras that would scare him away as you can see in this brand new gameplay clip but if you didn't find foxy in time he'd break the camera that he was featured in i'd love to know what are your thoughts on these brand new gameplay bits for t jock ignited collection and now let's move on to some port updates for help wanted 2 and security breach ruin because duel studios released updates for help wanted 2 and more a brand new blog post on their website saying hey FNAF fam we've got some updates for help wanted 2 and ruin ports initially we plan just to patch help wanted 2 but we're going to pivot after evaluating where development is at for the flat mode and oculus versions so instead of just a patch we're rolling in updates with the flat mode we're working hard on this and we'll keep you in the loop about when to expect it so basically that section boils down to the next update that help wanted 2 is going to get that's going to be in the spring and that's going to include the flat mode and oculus versions for the game next up ruin for xbox is in its final stages of certification testing it's shaping up nicely and we're eager to get it into your hands we'll be sharing more info very soon you guys asking for updates on ruins xbox port is still one of the most common comments i get nowadays so while you don't have a release date just yet it should be coming very very soon so stay on the lookout for that on nintendo switch we've released a patch for security breach that is now live this patch is not ruined nor is it a precursor to an imminent ruin launch we've had this patch in the hopper for a little bit but decided it was best to wait for release until after help wanted 2. more importantly we've started pre-production on the switch version of security breach ruin nintendo players rejoice it'll be a while before it's ready we just wanted to let you know that we've kicked it off lastly for port news the oculus port of help wanted 2 has started its certification process that means we're super close to dropping a release date so once again stay tuned so basically for a summary 
the Xbox port of Ruin should be coming out very, very soon with a release date announcement, once again, happening soon as well. A Switch port for Ruin is currently in pre-production stages, which means it'll take a little bit to be released. For Help Wanted 2, the Oculus port is once again coming very, very soon with a release date announcement right on the horizon. And the next patch for the game is going to be in the spring as previously revealed by Steelwall Studios. That update, while also serving as a patch, is going to include the Oculus and flat mode versions of FNAF Help Wanted 2. So that's going to do it for all the FNAF news. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Once again, I'd love to know your thoughts, theories in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.